great to have you and welcome to our show. And uh, it seems that the past season was really memorable to you completely. The championship title plus the MVP of the playoffs. What do you make of it? Man, you know, it feels wonderful right now. You know, it's just a real feeling. Um, it's something that we you always strive for, and you know, especially winning this uh, second championship. Mm -hmm. um, since they wanted me to get into this team, you know, I've always had that goal of um, trying to win a back to back. But you know, um, this is this is the goal that we wanted to reach, and you know, it feels great. And given all the factors and uh, the tough schedule and so forth, what might be the keys to successfully and finish everything? In style, um, I would be, I would say you know having a strong mind, strong will, um, that was the most important thing. You know we had to, uh, especially think mentally that we was going to start the season back again, and just mentally get back into the game. You know it's kind of hard taking two or three months off mm -hmm. um, from the sport that you play and, and coming back and you know trying to go full speed uh, because you're worried about injuries and a lot of things. But um, that shows you how mentally focused we are. Um, how mentally focused you know, we are as a team and as a unit and um, you know us winning the championship just a dedication of how much hard work and how much time we put into that. 20.7 points per game plus 5.8 rebounds, 6.2 assists and also 1.6 steals. Man, that's a great, great sheet right there. How did you manage to do so? Um, just my hard work, you know, in the summertime. Um, I, use, I use a lot of time. Uh, especially during the off-season, take care of my body. You know, I change the way I eat. Um, like I said, I change my diet. You know, I change the way that I intake a lot of things. You know, I'm drinking more water. I switch to a plant-based meal. And, you know, I continue to work better. I continue to work my, uh, work my body, get better. Um, I do a lot of Pilates in the summertime, a mm -hmm. lot of yoga. So um, I try to do things uh, that's not really just basketball-related, you know, more working on the body, uh, making sure the body's healthy, making sure your mind's healthy. And, you know, that's, that's, that's probably all my routine, especially throughout the summer and throughout the season. Right. I just try to keep my body more durable and flexible. Let me just ask this question very straightforward. Do you really intend to finish your career in the CBA, or what really keeps you going, or what really keeps you in China? Um, the main thing is the, the, the goal that I came over here. Um, Which is? I think Marbury has, what, three CBA championships, and my goal is to get four. Wow. And that's the reason why I continue to play. That's the reason why I continue to play the way I play. And, you hey, know, so record breaking, so right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that, that's, that's my record. You know, like I said, Stefan Harvey has three. You know, I want to get four, especially with this team. I think that it's really achievable with this team. Uh, tell us a little bit about your working relationship with the coach Du Fong, you know, who used to uh, coach the uh, national team, uh, Team B or Team A. Anyway, also the uh, star player, Yi Jian Lian. And these are really the key figures of the whole squad. First of all, what coach do, um, you know, I think he's an amazing person off the court. He understands his players. I know a lot of people um, say that he's kind of um, this mad figure, but no, he's <laughs> actually a cool guy, especially on the court. He's one of those, he one of those guys that demands a lot out of you. But uh, and, I was about you know, to say, uh, Sonny, of, he could be very demanding on yeah, the court. Yeah, Don't a, you think so? <laughs> we have a bunch of, we have a bunch of young players, so you have to be on them constantly. And um, I think he, he shows that that kind of tough love. Uh, and it, it comes out wrong on TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, Yi, Yi, Yi's, ever since I got here, Yee's always welcomed me here. Um, he's one of the big, he's, he's the best player to ever play CBA basketball. So just being on the team with him and, and having a chance to play with him and um, compete for these championships has been amazing itself because of you know, his reputation and what he's done for CBA basketball. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are about the same age, really. He's very disciplined as well. Sorry about his injury. I'm sure he's nurturing it right now. So uh, after the incident, did you talk to him? And what kind of uh, moral support are you giving him, which he definitely needs right now? Man, just take his time. You know, he's one of those guys who can't stay down for long. You know, he's one of those guys who are really prideful, and he loves the game. And, you know, I just told him, man, just, you know, we're going to hold it down while you're gone. Man, get some rest, get big, come back, and you know, let's play, let's let's win a third championship together. Mm -hmm. um, but man, I just tell him, just just be encouraged, man. Just always have think positive thoughts and everything. You know. Right there, things are really, you know, going very well for you. But what might be the things you really enjoyed most throughout all the years, all these years of your staying in China? Name a few, if you will. I didn't think I would like like hot pot as much, but mm -hmm. I've kind of grown a big fan of, of hot pot and you know just being able to travel around the cities in China you know uh, they have beautiful cities Shanghai 
um, Chongqing, Chengdu, uh, a bunch of amazing cities that I love going to and just visiting those and seeing the culture and, you know, the lifestyle and, you know, the food definitely um, is, is one of my favorites. But just going around and visiting different cities and seeing the different cultures of China, man, it's, it's, been, kind of, it's, it's been kind of an amazing sight for me. We need to ask this question, you know, CBA is still on rise and also uh, Yao Ming uh, and his leadership uh, is right there, uh, but uh, not too many people really know about CBA that much, uh, given your personal experience and involvement here. What would you let people know more about the ongoing CBA and also the growing CBA? Um, like you said, one of the fastest growing leagues in the world, you know, and it's getting competitive, competitive every year. And especially with Yao Ming um, at the head of everything, and you know, bringing those, bringing that NBA strategist and that NBA type of feel, mm -hmm. um, I would say come try it out. You know, China's a different world. Um, China's a different country, so um, it, it'd be amazing for a lot of foreigners to come over here and you know, check out the way that the game is being played, and you know, how much the Chinese love basketball. And if you're a basketball player, then you'll love the way the Chinese basketball fans treat you. And I would say just come over and try it out. All right, Sonny Weems, the uh, MVP of the playoffs of the uh, 2020 CBA season. And congrats once again. And thank you so much for your time. And way to go and enjoy your stay in China, Sonny.